Hello everyone! In this video we will see the making of a text box control from scratch. As for spin, let's see what is in general a text box. A text box, as the name suggests, is a graphical user interface control that allows the user to visually add Edit or remove text inside the so called box. Text box allows in this way to send text data to the application in order to be processed for some kind of task. Very well, but how can this control be achieved? The very first thing to do is to add the box, that is the foundation of any kind of text box. This box can be represented by a color rectangle control like this one, in this case a near black rectangle control, with an outline around it. The next step to do is to show some text inside it. This can be easily done by adding inside the rectangle control Another control that is able to show text. This kind of control is commonly called label. Very well, at this point, it really seems to have a real text box in front of us. Unfortunately, only from the rendering side. It lacks actually all its main functionalities. Let's list these functionalities. The first one, probably the most important one, is to add characters inside the box. To do that, we have to handle in some way the keyboard input events. Each time we receive, for example, a key down event, we can get the character corresponded to the key just pressed and we can add it inside a sort of buffer, like a string. Once we have our string with the new character, we can transfer it to our label that will allow us to show the text on the screen. And here it is. Now we are able to add characters inside our text box. Let's move on to the next functionality about the placement of text cursor. What is a text cursor? Text cursor, as the name suggests, is a cursor that indicates visually the position inside the current text from which we can start to add new characters, remove the previous characters, and select a portion of the current text. It can be represented by another colored rectangle control, in this case a white rectangle control. The text cursor is usually placed between two characters when the user clicks on a particular character of the text. The problem now is how can we calculate the position in which to place the cursor? This can be done by computing the length of a portion of the text that goes from the first character of the text to the character clicked by the user. At this point, we have all the necessary information to place the text cursor. Another important functionality to add is to allow the user to select a portion of the text. Selection can be represented by yet another colored rectangle control, like this one. In this case, a blue rectangle control. This functionality can be achieved by exploiting the placement of text cursor just added. It is usually done in this way. As for spin, the user click on a particular character of the text. In that moment, the position of the character is calculated. This position is stored as the start position of the selection. Then, while the user holds down the left mouse button, each time the mouse cursor is moved, the position of the character on which the mouse cursor is currently placed is recalculated. This position is stored instead as the end position of the selection. 
Once we have these start and end positions, we can finally compute the size of the selection rectangle. Last but not least, there is the removal of characters. This can be done as the addition of characters. When we receive a key down event from backspace or delete keys, we remove the character from the buffer that stays on the left of the text cursor position. And that's all! Now we have a fully functional text box. The next time we talk about combo box. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon! Thanks for watching! Thank you.